Today we're gonna tell you how to use Instagram planning apps to manage your Instagram account. You're a beautiful person and you're a good person and if no one has told you that today, let me be the first one to tell you that. All right, I'm so glad you joined me here because today I'm gonna be exploring how to use an app to plan your grid, to schedule posts, to curate hashtags, and to more effectively use your time on social media. I have a love-hate relationship with social media. I like Facebook, I like Instagram, I like Twitter, I like YouTube. Actually, I love YouTube, but it can be a lot sometimes and it can be overwhelming. So we're gonna look at four apps that'll help you manage your Instagram account. So this takes for granted that you care about your Instagram account, that you wanna keep posts up regularly, that you want people to interact with posts, you want people to find posts. So it's more like you're doing an Instagram for business account, although you might have the same type of desires just for personal reasons. So let's just call this Instagram for business. Here's four apps, Unum or Unum, Planoly, Plan, and Preview. Unum, Planoly, Preview, and Plan. I divide this review into four sections. One, what's the first five minutes like in any of these apps? Two, what's it like to use these apps to plan your grid and design your Instagram account? And three, what do each of these Instagram planning apps offer in terms of tools or benefits to help you grow and manage your account in terms of getting it bigger, reaching more people, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All the things that you want Instagram to do for your business. All right, so Uno, the first five minutes, bad experience, downloaded it, trying to set up an account, and the first thing that you wanna do is load nine pictures, nine images, to kind of see what the grid layout looks like. So when I open this app, it goes to my camera roll, it goes to my camera roll and I'm a photographer and most of the images I wanna post are curated in folders like Lightroom, Canon EOS R folder, or maybe another folder like my perfectly clear folder. But in my camera roll, meaning pictures I take straight off my phone, that's not where I'm getting most of my content for my Instagram account. So this was a pure fail. Let's take a look at the next app, Preview. Preview started out great. We have four icons across the top. There's a gear, a calendar, a bar chart, and a plus. And you add the plus, you add your images. Easy to do, easy to get an account started, easy to get going. So preview, nice job, well done. Plan. Plan was the third app that I took a look at. And in the first five minutes, I'm a little confused because it opens and the opening screen, though beautiful, is a blurred out grid of kind of a mock Instagram account. So it's not mine and there's two buttons, one says add media and one says continue. I'm confused why I don't see my account or my planning grid, not that effective for me. And I find that every time I launch the app, it goes to that instead of the second screen, which is actually what I want. It's okay, but the other thing is the text overlay is a little bit hard to read against that background, that busy background. Accessibility of it, meaning the high contrast of text to the background, doesn't make it that easy to use to get going with, so. Mm middle of the road marks for plan. All right, and the clear winner in the first five minutes is Planoly. It's a beautiful home screen. It's easy to start an account. It's easy to upload your first images. And not only that, but in that grid, I see a clear U overlay for all the posts that I've uploaded that are unscheduled. So that's a very handy feature. There's actually an unscheduled tab, scheduled tab, and all tabs. Easy navigation to look at what I put in and what I might be using to draw from to plan my grid. So Planoly, clear winner in the first five minutes. Let's look at how the apps did in the second phase, which is planning your grid. So Unum, I pressed on, even though I didn't like my first five minutes experience with it, and so I tried to load an image. Actually, I selected uh, quite a few images from my camera roll, because that's where it took me. I could actually never find the other folders for my Canon EOS R folder, my Perfectly Clear folder, or my Adobe Lightroom folder. But I went to my camera roll, I selected nine images, hit plus, and one loaded. I tried it again, selected multiple images, I think it was two that time, and one loaded. And so I have this grid with one here and one here and a bunch of blanks. Not a good experience in managing my grid. So lower the middle of the road scores for Unum. So in the plan app, I relaunched the app and yes, I'm again greeted with the blurred out mock Instagram account of somebody else. Beautiful, but it's not my account. Push the button continue and then I see the images I've uploaded. Now if you long press on one of those, the uh, tiles start to shake and you can move the images around. Pretty much like an iPhone, if you hold one of the home screen icons, everything starts to shake and you can edit or delete app icons. So it's a very familiar feeling and that's a very easy screen to interact with. Um, reordering the tiles for your grid. Good job, plan. So then if you just not long press a tile, but tap it, you get a draft your post screen and that's where you type in your caption and then I saw a button copy and paste. And so this actually 
This app doesn't integrate with Instagram. You have to copy and paste by clicking that and then going to the share and then opening Instagram and then choosing feed or stories and then paste it in. Not the streamlining type of uh, effect I was looking for. So this was a little less than desirable for me because it seems like the work should be more streamlined like an automatic integration. So preview, pretty similar to plan. Although when you touch a tile, you, it grays it out. And I kept trying to interact with that tile like I did in plan, uh, which seemed a little more intuitive now that I think about it. But when you touch it and it turns gray, then you have to look at the bottom of the toolbar and you have like a trash can icon to throw that image away. A shutter button, which was confusing to me because I thought that would mean capture a picture, but the shutter button means to edit the image. And then there's a little comment bubble, which is to write your caption. And then there's a share icon. And that again, like the plan app, means that you copy and paste and it opens Instagram from there and then you put it in. Um, again, not the streamlined workflow that I was looking for. Again, the clear winner is Planoly, which has a beautiful home screen, and it's got a really cool workflow. It has something called drafts, which are uh, like test grids that you can build. So there's not just one main grid, not just two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can actually use these extra drafts, like little folders to keep other Instagram accounts in it. It's like maybe a little hack. So you can use these to manage other Instagram accounts if you wanted. This also has a calendar view. And if you click that, you can see all the posts that you have coming up. And um, what's actually great is this app actually integrates with Instagram. So yes, you can schedule a post and you can write your captions and you can add your hashtags and then you can just close it and on the time allotted, it'll post it to Instagram and you'll get a little text message or a notification rather from the app that says this was posted according to plan. Um, so I use that three times today already. I love it. I'm in love with it. So far, uh, just head and shoulders above the other apps. Now the last section is how is this going to help you grow your account or manage your analytics and things like that so you can optimize or maximize your social media usage through Instagram. So Unum. First app gets a DNF, did not finish. I couldn't even get to that point. So plan actually has groups of hashtags that you can curate. So you can paste them in there and then copy them and add them to captions. So it helps you keep these in a handy place where you're gonna write your next post. Right now I use a Google Doc system and it's, it's pretty clunky and clumsy compared to what Plan has. Plan will also show you when you're searching for a hashtag how many posts that a hashtag has been associated with or used on. And so then that gives you an idea of the popularity um, of those hashtags. Plan also has something called best time to post based on your last post performances. And it'll say based on your last post, you should be posting at 1 p.m. every day. So far it's not that effective because I haven't used the app a lot, so I don't have a, a history. But the longer you use it, maybe the more you learn about your audience. And you might even learn about your own behavior, and maybe you'll be able to adjust some things you do by habit that aren't really as um, effective as you might want them to be. Plan also has a strategy tab, and it was confusing for me at first because there are these colored tiles, and it says like behind the scenes, or product, or testimonial and I couldn't really figure out what they were for. Actually, I had to watch a video on their website. Once you see that, then you understand, okay, I kind of load these as placeholders, and so I'm trying out a strategy. They don't really tell you what strategy to use, but you might try out a strategy like, okay, I'm gonna do for every one product uh, post I do, I'm gonna do a behind the scenes, a testimonial, um, something inspirational like a quote, and then I'll get to another product. So you set it up like a, um, placeholders and then you just replace that colored tile with the image. And I think where this really pays off is down the road, the analytics you get are associated with those post types or like the categories. So if you see all my inspirational posts get double the engagement of my product posts, that gives you some information. And so you can maybe learn how to adjust, learn why people like the inspirational posts and combine them with product posts. Basically it's helpful. I don't know for a fact that's what it does, but that's what it appears to do, which is how you would hope a company would help you use your analytics. So good job plan. The downside of that is if you say I'm going to schedule a product post, then you put a behind the scenes post in its place. Plan doesn't know the difference between what you said you were going to do and what you really did. So you really have to be disciplined and make sure if you set out that strategy and you're counting on the analytics later that you actually follow through with that strategy. So in preview, there was an analytics section, a bar chart icon, and there was a calendar, but I hadn't used any posts or uploading posts so there wasn't any information there, so I couldn't really verify it. It also didn't appear to have any way to manage hashtags or curate hashtags, 
So I give it a slightly lower marks for that. And just as a reminder, you have to copy and paste into Instagram. It doesn't auto post for you. So Planoly seems like it's as good as the others in managing growth. There's ways to see the number of likes over a week compared to the week before or the month before or even the year before. I um, mean, you can see comments, that kind of activity. But of course, the more information you want access to, the more you'll have to pay their upgrade fee. But so far, this app looks the most promising of them all. Any other thoughts? Uh, yes. Do any of them have a web app? Let's say you're doing this for business and you don't want to just sit there on your phone all day. There is a web app for two of them that actually have functionality. Surprisingly, one is Unum, so you can actually log in and upload posts. It seemed a little bit new and a little bit glitchy, but it's there. Preview and plan, they're just advertisements for the app. But Planoly has a very robust web app, so that one also gets high marks. Overall, the app that I am gonna use going forward, and actually I already started and I used it three times today with schedule posts, was Planoly. This is a gut hunch and I can't verify, but I think if you're going for a free app, I think the best one might be Preview. So check out Preview, check out Plan, check out Planoly. I'm going with Planoly and you know I'll give you feedback on how it works as we go along. Thanks for joining. I'm really glad you're here. I, I just hope that you would like this video, subscribe if you got anything out of it, and stick around, leave a comment. I really am excited about people who leave comments and we have more of a discussion after the video is posted and after you watch it because it's really just about learning more and more and helping each other along the way. So hopefully I'll hear from you in the comments. Peace.